And I believe that God knows exactly what he's doing. Wake up, boo. He knows exactly what he's doing. He has an eye on us. This is God's moment. The devil is not in control. God is in control. Listen to what I believe ought to be our posture. This ought to be our position at this hour. Lord, help me. Exodus 10, 21. Then the Lord said to Moses, lift up your hand toward heaven and the land of Egypt will be covered with a darkness so thick you can feel it. That was God's doing. So Moses lifted his hand to the sky and a deep darkness covered the entire land of Egypt for three days. During all that time, here it is, the people could not see each other and no one moved. But there was light as usual where the people of Israel lived. Yet there was light as usual where the people of God lived. When the whole world, when Egypt was in darkness, the people of God had light as usual. Y'all not hearing me here. Darkness may be upon the other people of the land, but darkness is not in the midst of the people of God. Rise, shine, give God the glory. Y'all not helping me here. Let your light so shine before men that others might see your good works and glorify the Father. Ye are the light of the world. So, that's not even key. Key to this is a simple expression, as usual. Tell somebody, as usual. Yeah, darkness was upon the land, but the text says, as usual. Uh, there should be nothing that we as the people of God ought not to be doing right now as a result of the times. We need to be taking care of business as usual oh y'all not getting this here oh i know what the devil's saying i know what you're feeling i i know what you're suspect about but it's business as usual to the people of god so we ought to as usual <laughs> give god some praise <laughs> we ought to as usual worship our king as usual we ought to give our tithe and our offering as usual we ought to share our faith as usual we ought to preach jesus christ and him crucified as usual we ought to stay committed to the things of god and as usual we ought to follow the leader that god has placed in our life nothing ought to change when the world is in darkness we as usual are the light of the world will somebody shout glory as usual tell somebody business as usual i'm closing with this comment our text says those who are not under the government of god and those who do not have the revelation of the security of the kingdom of god would do several things the text reveals egypt and pharaoh Egypt is a type of the world. It speaks of a governmental system that is not of God. It speaks of a system of government that oppresses the people and can never satisfy its constituents. There is no man-made government that can ever meet the needs of all of the constituents. But there is a government where all are equal. Whether neither Jew nor Greek, male nor female, bond nor free, Scythian nor Jew, there is a kingdom. But we can come out of the same banner, and his banner over us is love. There is a kingdom motivated, empowered, infused by love itself. Egypt represents a system, a system that's not under the dictates and dominion of God himself. And a system, and 
uh, where those people they partner with uh, live under its dominion. And when they partner with it and live under its dominion, they become slaves to the system. Welfare dependence. The children of Israel were in Egypt and they literally were barefoot and slaves. They were under the rules of the dictator of a government that was not pleasing to God, was not of God. And they became welfare recipients. They did not know that they had the potential to be somebody. They did not know that they didn't have to be slaves all of their life. They had been in bondage so long, they did not know that God had already set them free. That God had made choice of them. So when Pharaoh uh -huh, is confronted by Moses, who was sent by God, Moses has one word. Let my people go. My people? How are they your people? Barefooted? On welfare? Enslaved? God said, yeah, but they're my people. They are people with a promise. A promise of a land flowing with milk and honey. There are people with a promise. There's going to be a place where I'm going to take them that's going to be so wonderful that they're going to forget the hell that they had to go through in order to get there. They're my people. The potential to glorify me is already in them. They're my people. The potential to possess what I promised them is already in them. They're my people. All they need is somebody that I go down and declare truth to power that in his people, God people are not governed by your system and that we have a system of government that is apart from your system and we can do all things through Christ which strengthens us we don't have to be slaves we don't have to be dependent we don't have to work for anybody we don't have to be dominated we don't need a handout we need a hand up we need to look up and live will somebody shout glory You're God's people. And I decree to this government and this world system, let my people go. Loose their minds. Loose their hearts. Let my people go. They can be. We can reach our potential. We don't need to be bound anymore. 